Hi guys. So today we're going to be looking at the formula method of solving quadratic equations. So what is the formula method? The formula method is x equals to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac is the square root all over 2a. So this is the what we call the formula method. This is what we use to solve quadratic equations. And this is gotten from the general representation. When the general representation of a quadratic equation is solved, you're going to get this value, this expression. So this gives us that. Yeah. So now we're going to take an example to show how we go about this. We want to solve 6x squared minus 10x plus 4 equals to 0. By the way, if you've not seen the video where we show that this equals to this, you might check on the playlist of quadratic equations and you surely see the video. Please watch it. It's very important. So back to what we were saying. This is 6x squared minus 10x plus 4 equals to 0. Now, looking at this and comparing it with this general representation, we can compare coefficients and see that a is 6, b is minus 10, c is 4. Okay? So now that I've gotten those terms, the next thing I would have to do is to slot in these values into this equation. I'll slot in these values into this equation. And how do I go about that? So I'm going to say x equals to what is my b? The formula says minus b. So remember, this is b. So x equals to minus b. So remember the formula is carrying a minus, so minus minus 10 plus or minus roots minus 10 squared minus 4. What is a? a is 6. 4 times 6. Well, then what is C? 4. 4 times 6 times 4. So this is it. All over 2 times A. What is A? 6. So minus times minus is plus. That leaves us with just 10 there. Then this. So minus 10 squared is 100. Because minus times minus is plus. Then 10 times 10 is 100. Then minus 4 times 6 is 24. 24 times 4 is 96. Then 2 times 6 is 12. So x equals to 10 plus or minus 100 minus 96 is 4. So this is what I have. So now x is equal to 10 plus or minus what's the square root of 4 2 over 12 now i can decide to break these guys down or leave it the same way okay let me leave it the same way it is now this simply means that x equals to 10 plus 2 over 12 or 10 minus 2 over 12. So x equals to 10 plus is 12. So that's 12 over 12. Or 10 minus 2 is 8. So or 8 over 12. So that is it. Now I can break this down. 12 year 1, 12 year 1. So this is 4 year 2. 4 year 3. So at the end of the day, I have that x is equal to 1 or 2 
over 3. So that is my final answer using the formula method. So remember, our formula method is x equals to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is the square root, remember. So, and then from this quadratic equation, what are our terms? We have a to be what? Coefficient of x squared. So in this case, it is 1. b is what? Minus 2. C is what? Minus 8. C is minus 8. Good. So now I'm just going to substitute into this equation. So this is x equals to, remember the formula says minus b now. So minus, remember b here is a negative. So minus minus 2 plus or minus root minus 2 squared plus 4, what is a? 1. Then what is c? Minus 8. Okay. Then all over 2a. So x equals to minus times minus is plus. So this is 2 plus or minus root 2 minus 2 square is simply 4. Well, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times minus 8 is 32 minus 32 yeah then we have this 2 times 1 is 2 so x sorry this is supposed to be a negative number sorry remember our formula so this is supposed to be minus so sorry about that so when we multiply then this becomes a positive number so this is now 2 plus or minus the square root of so 4 plus this gives me 36 all over 2 so x equals to 2 plus or minus the square root of 36 is 6 then 2 so x equals to 2 plus 6 over 2 or 2 minus 6 over 2. So x equals to 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 divided by 2 or minus 4 divided by 2. So x is simply 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4 or this is minus 2. So this is our final answer when x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0 is solved using the formula method. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next video.